Unfortunately, unfortunately, in our materialistic society, uh, many people believe they can uh, or they're engaged in the futile action of trying to buy their self-worth. Um, there's this popular idea people have that the acquisition of material items can enhance their value as a person. Um, first of all, I'm pretty sure you observed this in our society, how destructive it is. But what is what is that process like kind of getting out of that little kind of uh, that conundrum. ideology? Yes. You know, moving away from where I'm valuable. Uh, Only based and, on what I own. Um, first of all, we need to recognize that that is a creation of the economic system and commerce they have been driving commercialization for the last 80, 90 years. It is a science and an art. There are entire degrees and universities dedicated to the study of human nature, human, um, the human mind, and they have masterfully integrated commerce into branding and literally mind control. So what we have now is a product of 80 years worth of research and implementation. And now we value brands more than we value our family. We value brands more than we value ourselves, our peace of mind, even our health. People will do sacrifice eating well to own a brand that is going to cost them what it would take for them to eat healthy or for, for them to take care of their children. Paula, pa I apologize, Paula, but I have to cut yes. you because you brought up such a great point, right? I've been reasoning to Bridgerton's trying to explain to them this job mm -hmm. situation and health right when people quantify a job is usually mm -hmm. by status and income and they disregard the impact that it'll have on their mental physical yes. spiritual and family life people seem not to understand that all right i'm gonna give you an example you know how people say oh you know they want to get married or this and that a lot of these occupations a lot of these aspirations that you desire you don't desire that you've been influenced uh -huh. to desire will not allow you to have Quality. anything that resembles a healthy family or relationship. Yes. Yes. And I think people aren't putting two to two together because you, for you to be successful in that particular industry or field, the commitment that's needed is going to lead to neglect and the things you claim that you want. This is perfect. I saw a video clip yesterday of a man that was being congratulated for winning multiple million dollar contracts. And at the same time that that was happening, his wife asked him for a divorce. And you know what his statement was? He was saying, no, listen, you guys have to measure up going for the bag and also making sure that everything is okay at home. So that when you do get the bag, you have the wherewithal to enjoy the bag. So I think overall, people need to be a little bit more measured, but the programming is so deep that they don't even know why they need a designer handbag, why they have to wear designer shoes, why they must drive a designer car. And then the programming is so deep that women are actually using brands to determine whether a man is fit to be their mate. And so we're going into a situation now where if you're not taking me to a fancy restaurant, if you're not wearing this clothes or that clothes, you can't have a conversation with me. We cannot even, we can't even get to first base. And that goes to show how programmed, how brainwashed we are, where we are no longer looking beyond 
the flesh and looking into the person's spirit. And be valued. We're looking at the external trappings. We're going to be in problems because what's happening, the only people that are winning are the big brands, the big corporations. The branding is so effective that we even think unhealthy foods are healthy. We even think unhealthy things are cool to be drinking and to be consuming. So it's very interesting. And if people were to stop and ask themselves, why am I going out of my way to ensure that I drive this car? The bottom line would be, I'm doing this because I want to be perceived as this person. So you realize the whole thing is fake. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. But not hear this thing. You know but hear this thing. So you know they're you not gonna say that. Do, you know they gonna tell you they want yeah, to do it. Yeah, but guess what? They are doing something <laughs> to create an illusion for someone else to see this illusion and buy into Facts. the illusion. And so they're going to be living an illusion to please someone else who wants to be a part of an illusion. The whole thing is illusory. And it's, yes, yes, but I have, I have right a now. theory, you know, people always say, oh, the, the playing field isn't level. I believe it is because superficial people who place themselves into superficial situations are going to attract other superficial people. And then they will live happily ever after. People Thanks. who are all about authenticity, all about being real, all about creating a life where there's balance and harmony and love and joy, they're going to be looked on by other people who want that. And so they're going to have that world where they're going to be attracting each other and situations that give them harmony, love, joy, peace. And so we're going to have two different scenarios. So the, work, the playing field is very, very level. No, it is up to us to be perceptive enough to know what we're looking for, right? And a lot of it goes back to also people feeling inadequate about how they grew up and, you know, what kind of life they had That's and right. wanting, right. wanting to make sure that the rest of their life is soft, it's comfortable, it's easy, and they want their children. So they are going to put on the masquerade to, to bring in the person that will give them this thing that they seek. 